Hello, everyone. This is Captain Kyle reporting live from Walker Stalker, Philadelphia. Standing here with Corey Brill from The Walking Dead, who was a bit of a porch dick. Yeah. <laughs> How are you enjoying the con, Corey? I'm having a great time here in Philadelphia. It's fantastic. What do you like most about the con? Uh, this is my second con, and I think actually seeing people like yourself that I've seen uh, about a month ago in Boston. It's like I'm now suddenly part of this new family of, uh, of friends. It's cool. Well, welcome to the family. Um, there are dues. You have to pay. <laughs> so since you've started coming to cons, this is you said your second con like yeah. ever? Ever. Absolutely. So you never even went to like Comic Con to like dress as some kind of scarecrow or something? I never have, no. But um, it's not too late. That is true. We'll we'll talk about that in a second. So when you come to this con and you see a lot of people dressed up yeah. in costume, yeah. what do you think about these people? Yeah, that was the first time I've ever experienced that, and uh, I think you were maybe the very first cosplayer that I interacted with, and I was sure. That my character was small enough, or just that, that I was like, there's, nobody's going to be dressing up as Pete. And then I think that like two hours after meeting you, I look up and I see you stumbling around, uh, doing a really good Pete. I have to say, it was a little scary. <laughs> nice work. <laughs> well, thanks. I'm actually after all your jobs, uh, just so you know. But well, you uh, take them after I'm done with them. You can do it. <laughs> well, there, we're, there's no money in that. Sheesh. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> so. So have you seen any besides myself? Yes, at one time I actually cosplayed Pete Anderson, a.k.a. Porch Dick Pete from The Walking Dead. Have you seen any other Porch Dick Petes? No, you're the only one. Do you think there'll be a lot of them? I don't. <laughs> you're probably right. <laughs> and I, I don't know that... I am, as a character. I mean, for one thing, it's just not in, in the show that long, but also it's, there's no identifiable... like you, you, you carried a beer, which was good. And, uh, but it was really, you sold it. It wasn't what you wore that, that made people know who it was. Actually, a lot of people just thought I was a drunk guy stumbling around Walker Soccer Con. Yeah, but you might have been still. You could do two things at once. That is true, but I was not, in fact, inebriated. <laughs> so, have you ever thought about cosplaying your, not yourself, but doing some cosplay? I'll be honest, I haven't. I'm not, um, and this might be just because of the business that I'm in. I'm not even, I never, I haven't dressed up for Halloween in probably since I was like 15 years old. It's just been, I don't know, um, I like seeing other people get into it, and I appreciate their creativity uh, and kind of mimicry abilities, but it's not something that I've ever uh, fantasized about, I guess. Not yet. So you've never thought about, like, maybe acting as a career? <laughs> That's exactly right. I decided to be a professional cosplayer, which, you know, it's probably possible. Yeah. Apparently there are some who call themselves professional cosplayers. Right. See? Well, that's what I'm doing. Yeah. Professional cosplay as characters that no one has ever that's seen before. That's exactly right. I'm an original cosplayer. Well, I, I like your cosplay so far. Well, all right. I can't say I really like the characters that you played. I understand... What what's the roles that you typically get as an actor? I do a lot of um, playing the nice guy who turns out to be not a nice guy at all. Um, yeah, is this like a psychological thing in your life? You're actually it might be. I think like when uh, I try to be a nice person in life, and I think that maybe the result of that is that I have a lot of rage pent up and ready for the camera, and it just comes out. That sounds like Constance, actually. Uh, she has a lot of that as well. All right. So what's your next con after this one? Uh, Atlanta, next month. Yeah. And you're going to see like the, un the same people again? Yeah, but I've heard Atlanta is like the mecca of this. And so I'm really actually excited to see. Um, well, for one thing, too, I'll get to see a lot of cast members that I haven't seen since the show. Um, so it'll be great to see Andrew and folks like that. You, you don't feel any... Ill will towards Andrew for no, beating you up? Not at all. I'm grateful to him. It was great. Great fun. So you have issues. Okay, that, that is perfectly fine. So what else are you working on since your character is probably not going to make a, a return yeah. appearance on The Walking Dead? Doesn't look likely. I'm, uh, I've been doing a lot of theater and uh, just did an episode of Scorpion on CBS. That'll air sometime soon in October. 
and uh, a lot of audiobooks, uh, narration of audiobooks. I, I did not know you narrated. Yeah, there's a really good one, actually, that I think fans of Walking Dead would dig called The Troop by Nick Cutter. And uh, it's about a Boy Scout troop that gets exposed to this awful, awful virus. Uh, and it becomes a little like Lord of the Flies-esque. It's very good. Yeah. We will have to keep an eye out for that one. So so how can people find you on social media? Yeah, I'm uh, Brill Corey on Twitter. And I'm C. Brizza on Instagram, and I'm on the Facebook. So you're all over the place. You're like... I'm not very active. I'm, I'll be honest. I'm a little uh, quiet. I forget sometimes that the stuff that you put on Twitter, like, nobody's going to read it years later. But <laughs> but I can't help it. When I tweet, I'm like, I'm like, this is going into the Library of Congress someday. I'm going to have to... Like, it should be smart and intelligent and funny and friendly and all these things that you can't be all at once all the time. I put too much pressure, I think. Yeah, and I've read your tweets, and they were none of that. Okay, so there you go. No, actually, <laughs> you know. They're few and far between, but make them like drops of water in the desert. Thank you. Uh, that's good. I like that. Yeah. I, 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 I do some writing, yeah. <laughs> so what would you like to say to all those people out there? First of all, I want. what do you want to say to those people who think you're actually like your character on The Walking Dead? Go to hell. No, I'm... Uh, <laughs> Well, come meet me at one of these conventions, and you'll find out that I'm, you know, somewhere between, like, the nicest guy you've ever met and a terrible, terrible person. Yeah. That is true. You are maybe leaning toward... No, you're... you're. <laughs> I actually say you're nothing like your character, and I enjoyed... He did put out a song, if you can find it on, on YouTube. I may put a link right. in this episode to this wonderful song that he has all about his new... Oh, yes, well, no... I'm going to make it move. Oh, it's going to be animated. No. Okay. Yeah, to this wonderful song that he, he played. And actually, you redid Up at Walker's Stalker Con Boss. Did they make you do it here yet? Not yet, but I have a feeling uh, my ukulele will make an appearance. Yeah. That is awesome. So what do you say to the people who actually like you? Yeah, well, thanks. And, uh, I like you, too. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much for being on the show. Of course. Thank you, Kyle.